Last time on Brist Angoli's Mongol Rally, we left the launch party and drove across five borders. We stayed in Bratislava and Budapest, made it to the famous transfer garrison, visited Dracula's castle, drove across Romania and Bulgaria and made it to Istanbul. This is not your regular road trip. Across one third of the world in a Fiat Panda. This is Brist Angoli's Mongol Rally. There's no better way to start a Mongol rally episode than with a proper breakfast. So we just had the sickest breakfast with uh, Pete, Denny and Lauren. And uh, now we're off to see the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. And just have a wander around Istanbul and see what it's like. It's gonna be good. It's a great look. Get them feet washed. <laughs> The Hagia Sophia is now a museum, but since its construction in the year 537, it has been both a Greek Orthodox cathedral and an Ottoman mosque. We just got a message from a follower that we don't know who is from Istanbul and works here. Hi, I, I work near the Blue Mosque, which is over there. And if you guys have time, can we meet? So, yeah, why not? I, I saw your stories and you were, you were in Bulgaria and I thought you were coming to Istanbul yeah. yeah, this yeah. is the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, thank you so much for your time actually oh, no, no, yeah. Yeah, anyway. exactly, so why not? Yeah. I was just, I like uh, traveling websites and I saw your Instagram uh, okay. nice. that's cool, she's really nice it's really cool that you see people watch your stuff and the stuff you post and actually like engage with it what have you got there bro? Got myself some new shoes! Yeah! Finally! Finally! These ones weren't doing too well. No, no. I can, it's safe to say that they've seen better days. One of the biggest attractions of Istanbul is definitely the Grand Bazaar, and we couldn't miss it before heading south. Day 18, we are back on the road. Uh, hey, Istanbul, Istanbul. Not for long. Not, Not for long. long. <laughs> uh, we're now heading south uh, to Didim, see my dad. So um, we're going to cross the bridge yeah. and uh, swap continents. Yeah. That's what, that's what it's like. We are literally on the bridge between, well, not yet, but we will be on the bridge between Europe and Asia. <laughs> So we arrived here really late last night um, and it's the first time I've actually come to visit my dad's new house in Turkey. Um, I've seen pictures and stuff, I didn't really know what to expect, but check this out. So we're at a tyre store in Didim, uh, trying to get new tyres because we're about to go off-road a lot, all the way to Mongolia. <laughs> wow! Got new tyres. It's, it's so like, smooth! It's like driving on a cloud. Oh, it's like butter. Oh, wow. Oh. We're, on, we're on cobbles right now. Isn't it? We're on cobbles and you wouldn't even tell. So basically we're going to get a new sun guard now. Yep. Uh, going to weld the fabricator. See what he can, uh, what he can make for us. Yeah. yeah. just been to the garage to get a sun guard fitted. Uh, Byron has really sorted us out, he gave us tea and everything. We're gonna go to the market and have a look around, maybe buy some olives and some water because it's really warm right now. Okay. 
<laughs> yes. Crash Pandicoot is rally ready. <laughs> New tires, some guard, and a panda on the roof rack. Oh. oh my god. Our man Myram at the blacksmiths in Didim sorted us right out. As our time in Didim came to an end, we had one last thing to do. Fair play, eh? I thought it was a scream. Back to Mario Nature's. This is the end. Goodbye. I'm leaving you in a barbershop in Turkey. And now it's time to get back on the road and make our way across Turkey. So we just pulled up at a petrol station. And we're giving a lovely breakfast. Yeah. So we left did him this morning and since we left we've realized that we're losing a lot of power yeah. top, top speed is now like 60 miles an hour yeah it's 100 kilometers an hour yeah we're not sure why known as Planet from Interstellar. From Interstellar. If you need something for your pasta, you just come here, grab a handful, and, all that, and go home. Get it on your hands. But our day wasn't over yet, and we pushed towards Cappadocia. So this is our room in Gorime. We're at uh, Ali's guest house, and it is in a cave inside a rock, basically. They carved this years and years ago, and now it's a hostel. We didn't get paid to do this, but we recommend it. So yesterday we realized the car was losing a lot of power. And so today in true Turkish fashion, I've got my tea. And we're gonna see if we can find what's wrong. At least we know what the problem is. Look at these uh, beautiful uh, Fiat spark plugs that we got off eBay. They're too small. Way too small. <laughs> that is the most annoying shit ever. Do not buy stuff off eBay. Go to Harford's. Use more expensive. Or just be clever and Actually, no, check the even, codes on the thing. I should don't even go to Harford's because they give you what's yeah, they'll, give you, the wrong, they'll give you the wrong shit as well. They give mm. you the wrong things for the massive conspiracy. Yeah. So we found a great garage to buy new spark plugs and. So about four or five mechanics walk around the car just to clip, try to uh, to help us. But we've got the brand new spark plugs. They look great, so hopefully our problem uh, is solved. Check you. Okay, here's the test. Right, so it wasn't the spark plugs. They're brand new and it still uh, feels like before. So what we did is checked everything that it could have been and um, We'll take it back to the garage. Isaac's yeah. gonna jump in the car with the mechanic and we're gonna chill here again second time yeah. today. We'll probably have some tea and nice. hope for the best. Now what? No. <laughs> You're on our own. We're literally stuck in the middle of nowhere. At least our sponsor MTX <laughs> gave us SIM cards so we've got internet. <laughs> we can speak to people. <laughs> Just as we were beginning to enjoy mechanic life, uh, Isaac just gave us a call and they found the problem, they fixed it, it's going to cost about 90 lira and uh, oh look at Ed, he's bloody happy, oh he's chuffed. Yeah. We are on the balloon yeah. in Cappadocia, it's 5am, <laughs> we're about to go up and see the hall. See the hall. From the sky. <laughs> yeah. That shit's really warm.
breathtaking. Yeah. Really good. Magical. Balloon in the background. Look at that. Right. Two. This thing just took us like 600 meters up. Oh, oh, good. Good. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Death Road. Woo! But yeah, now Whoa, we're... What the fuck hell. is that dude doing? Jesus Christ. Hair on my bum. Hair on my bum. We nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> on camera. That was bad. That could have been insurance evidence. Yeah, you could, could have been have. an insurance man watching this. Right, cool. So, Death Road. Here we come. We already seem to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this this guy ahead has just offered us some some yogurt. <laughs> he told us to pull over, and then he said, "Do you want to eat some yogurt?" Is he gonna come out to? I don't know. Papillon. You just need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Güzel, güzel. Back to Aguna. Squat it. Yeah, here we go. Fuck it. Oh. What is mm. it? Is that liver? Yeah, very good. rice? Yeah, it's some rice, some beans. Mmm. The secular. The secular did it. secular. Where are you going? Mongolia. My mother. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Mm. This guy is from the Turkish army and he's given us bollocks to eat. <laughs> Spicy bollocks. <laughs> right, right on the dance. Okay. The secular. Bye. 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 The secular. Oh. See you later, dude. Yeah. After we were offered what we found out later is called Dolma, we kept powering through the desert until. Right, let's get a look. Mongol Rally. Yeah, some god. Fucked. The two t two cable ties at the moment. Around there, you sort of keep it up. We're now going to ratchet the sump back on until we hit the garage where they can fix it properly. With the sump guard ratcheted to the car, we kept going until it got dark and it fell off again. Is the sump guard safe? Yeah. Drive in the dark, people say. What do we do? We start death road <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> Day number 23 on the road. Uh, we're right next to death road. We came to here last night, it was quite a tough day yesterday. Um, we had a look at the car this morning. Might do something about the sump guard but the plan is to go over death road try not to die and cross the Jordan border <laughs> mostly the try not to die part yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've now cable tied the sump guard in as well as ratcheting it how long it'll hold nobody knows probably about two hours <laughs> well we never say it was going to be professional work it works, it works. You see, the thing about this road is, it's not deadly per se, it's not death road, it's just pretty uncomfortable. There's a lot of twists and turns and a lot of rocks hitting your sunk guard that might be falling off. It's nice, it's pleasant, it's pleasant. My ass feet hurts! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the part where it gets a bit deadly. 2,000 meters. <laughs> we survived death road. Crash Bandicoot won death road. Yeah, he did. Oh, it's too easy. Too easy. Views were amazing though. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely worth doing it. On to Georgia now. Next country, country number 13. Apparently, in Georgia, 
You can make two lanes out of one. Look at that! Wow, it's beautiful. Okay. The landscape had completely changed, and so had the weather. How did we survive a storm while camping on a beach? That's a story for next time. Next time on Bristol Angoli's Mongol Rally, we spend a couple days in Tbilisi leaving the car with a mechanic. We power away through Azerbaijan all the way to the port of Alat. We get on a boat and become stranded at sea.